What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna go and help you fix your missing apps in case your database was rebuilt. Now, if you look over here in my particular PS4, my database was rebuilt after a current panic, guys, and I did lose all the games that I have here. However, I didn't really actually lose it, it's still in my hard drive. If you go down to my storage device over here and give it a second, as you guys can see, 672 GB of data is in my hard drive at the moment if i open this up if i go to my applications there's 656 gb i open this up and there's only these two disc games that actually show up and all the other games though they're inside i just cannot see it on the ps4's home screen neither can i access it or delete it or anything so guys if you're in this particular situation i'm going to show you a method on how to go ahead and fix this However, guys, I'm going to go ahead and break this video into different parts. So for guys who have already done this, if you did a backup and you've actually backed up your database on your hard drive or a pen drive, if you look on the top, it says make a full backup of your database. If you've already done that, guys, all you got to do is hit the restore and it's going to go and restore your database and you're going to be back to normal. But however, there are some times you have, do not have a backup or you have not backed up in such a long time or you simply just do not have a backup at all. In that particular scenario right over here, just like my scenario right now, I don't have a backup at the moment and I'm gonna show you exactly how to still recover all the games and all the apps that you actually had over here. So guys, we're gonna go and jump into the system and do run some scripts. It's gonna be easy peasy and I'm gonna show you step by step. So let's go. All right guys, so we're back in the system right now and I would suggest you to go ahead and download this particular PS4 database rebuilder right over here guys. So just click on this. So I've already downloaded this and I've extracted this to the desktop over here. This is where it is extracted and this is what we're gonna run FixDB. So of course, before you go ahead and do this guys, you will need to have the latest version of Python. So if you don't have Python already installed on your computer, go ahead and click it and download this. And I will leave this link in the description as well, guys. Go ahead and download the latest version of Python. And once you're done with that, all right, guys, I just jailbroke my PS4. Unfortunately, I didn't record that bit, but I am running Golden version 1.1. If you go to settings and I go all the way down to debug settings, as you can see, I'm here. And if I go to system information, as you can see, it's golden version 1.1. So I am right now jailbroken, guys, but my internet is off. And once you switch on the internet, the FTP is going to automatically switch on, guys. But you need to take note of which IP address your PS4 is on. So I'm going to go to settings right now, and I'm going to go to network, and I'm going to connect to the internet. When I do that, guys, you're going to notice that FTP is going to automatically come on. There we go. So that is my IP address that I need. Just take a note of that, that's 1.64 in my particular case. So I'm gonna keep that handy now and I'm gonna jump back onto the system. Now that we have everything set up, the PS4 is now running gold hen and the FTP is on and it's already accepting incoming connections. And right over here guys, we need to run this script. Now we can't just double click this and then let it do its magic. So we need to go ahead and input the PS4's IP address in order for this to work the right way. I would suggest you to go ahead and run this from a PowerShell. So in order to do this, hold on Alt and hit D. Once you do that, this part will be highlighted. Just go ahead and delete that and just type down PowerShell and hit Enter. So this particular thing is going to open up. I'm going to keep it side by side so just will be able to easily see which file name you're going to be entering, guys. Okay, so as you can see, this is what we need to run, guys. So just type down PY that kind of provokes the Python script. And this is what we need to go and type down. So you can either just type it down, this is where you can just type it down, or you can just right click this, go to rename, control C to copy it, and then you can paste it here. But since I've already typed this down, I'm gonna take this out. And right after this guys, you need to go ahead and mention the IP address for your PS4. So this particular case, this is my IP address, so I've written that down. Your IP address is definitely gonna be different guys, so go ahead and make sure that your IP address matches with what you're typing over here, and then you hit enter. So as you can see, it did go ahead and get all of these things done. And there you go, guys. It is completely done for me right now. It analyzed all the different games that I have on my PS4 that is missing the database and it actually added it up. So I'm gonna exit this out. Okay, so moving back into the PS4 right now, I'm gonna quit out of this. So as you can see, there's still, all the games are not really showing up over here, guys. So I need to go ahead and hit the browser. And once I come back out, there you go guys, all my games have now appeared. And every single thing that I had installed is now back and running. 
And that's about it, guys. This is how you can go and restore all your games back. And I am still jailbroken right now. So if I go to settings, as you can see, I am still jailbroken. I will be able to run the games. So guys, the first thing I would recommend you to do right away is to go back to your host, guys. Once you have a USB pen drive plugged in or your device or whatever device that you use plugged in. And I would suggest you to go and hit backup because you need to make sure that your backup is there and ready to go. So guys, running on the second attempt, as you can see now, it is gonna go ahead and back up my database onto the pen drive. So in the future, if at all, I had to rebuild my database or my database is reset or something goes wrong, I can just come and restore it. And this is pretty important. I would suggest you to do this once a week, at least once in a while, so just you always have a backup ready in case something goes wrong. Okay, so that's about it. Now all your games and all your apps are now back on the PS4 and you can go ahead and enjoy your games. However, guys, there is a downside to this. Once you go ahead and restore your database using this method, you might not be able to delete games after this. So if at all you wanna delete any of these games, go ahead and do that right away before you even start the game. For instance, over here, I did start this game. And after I start the game and I go to options, I just cannot delete it anymore. There's no options to delete it. Even if I go to settings and go to my storage, I cannot delete it. But at the same time, another app over here, I can go ahead and delete it. Just like you see over here, I want to delete these particular apps. I can go and delete them right away. But guys, once you open the app, you will not be able to delete it. So keep that in mind. If all in the future, you still want to delete it, there are ways to go ahead and do it, guys. You'll have to go ahead and modify the database directly and I can go out and make another tutorial for that if you guys are interested. But this is what something you ought to keep a note of. Uh, yeah, guys, so this footage that you're seeing right now is me playing off in the PS4 VR. This is a Blood and Truth gameplay, and I was just having some fun with it. And yes, guys, there is also a PS VR I recently got, and lots more videos I'm lining up to post eventually. But yeah, stay tuned about that. Alright guys, so that's about it for this particular video. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and drop it a like, drop it a subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know if you've been able to go ahead and fix your database with this one. And guys, if you're just seeing this video and you do not have this issue, I would suggest you to go ahead and make a backup right away, just in case you might face this issue in the future. You have a great week guys, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye. I failed mine. Thou gave my homework. <laughs> All right, Delta Force, you've convinced me. We can talk. Okay, good. No problem, man, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Clint. Oh, it's good to have you back. How are you? You? Oh, you know. Wonderful service. Flowers were lovely. Your dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would.